Hello everyone. Welcome to the AI practical series. In this session, we'll be doing the recursive breadth first search algorithm. So in this session, I have divided this into two parts. The first part is the explanation of the algorithm. The second part is uh, Python code of this particular algorithm and uh, e executing the code using uh, through the Google Colab and then explanation of the algorithm. So what is recursive breadth first search? So it is an algorithm in AI which is used for finding the optimal path from the starting point to the goal, uh, whether we are using a graph or a search space. So this is actually a variant of the breadth uh, best first search algorithm. And these are some of the features as we can see we have uh, a start and a goal state so when we start we have a when we run the algorithm we have a start state and our main uh, aim would be to reach the goal state then exploring so rbfs explores the graph by considering the nodes uh, to visit in a prioritized way okay so uh, it will check whether optimal path is available from to reach from one node to the other node and it will keep that in queue until and unless it gets the best possible path. Then uh, we have this recursion. So RBFS explores the graph. It often encounters multiple paths in the same node as I have seen. So, so uh, 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 while exploring it keeps updates of the paths and continues until it reaches the goal and determines the best possible path which can lead to the goal. There is a backtracking. So RBS FS keeps tracks and of the best solution found and uh, it continues exp exploring the other paths. It, it backtracks, comes back and checks whether any other path is available and then termination. So RBFS continues this process until it reaches the goal state and exhaustively searches the graph without finding uh, if, if a solution is available, it will give the solution and if there is no solution it will go on finding until and unless uh, it gets some of the promising path or it will learn that no path is available so this is the graph we'll be using uh, in in the algorithm in the python code so this one this one represents the node and this two so there is a path from one to two and the cost this three number is the cost okay and then uh, from one to three there is a path and the cost is five so I have drawn this diagram here. This is the diagram of the graph. Okay, I'll just minimize it so it is easily visible. So this is our actual graph. So this is given to us. So this one, two, three, the path available and this phi is the cost. From three to five, there is a path and two is the cost and so on. So this is the particular graph. And this is how we express using in, in the Python language. This is the required Python code. I'll share this code. In the description section, I will give the link to sh of this code. So this is the code. So I will copy this code and execute it using the Google Colab to the Google Colab. So uh, our start state is one and the goal state is eight. So we reach from one to eight. We can even change this any number from one to eight. So one is the start state and this is how we give the successors. So I'll just copy this code and we'll run on Google Colab and check the path. So we have the Google Colab. I'll just click on code and uh, I've copied the code. I'll just paste the code. So this is done. This is our code. Now to run the code, I'll just click here and we'll get the output. So this is the output path from 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6 and then 8. So this is the path which it has given. Okay. This is the path and this is the cost. Although this is not the optimal path. If we check the graph, this is not the optimal path. But I try to get some more solution, but I am I, getting this part. So this is the path. It, it returns the path, of course, from 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6 and, and 6 to 8. So that's how uh, this RBFS works. Now next we'll explain the code, whatever Python code we have used, we'll explain this code. Importing libraries, this line imports the priority queue data structure from the queue module. A priority queue is used for managing nodes to be expanded based on their priority. Node class, this class is defined to represent nodes in the search tree. 
the constructor initializes a node with a state, an optional parent node, and an F value. RBFS function, this is the main RBFS function that takes a start state and a goal state as arguments. Next is the initialization. Initializes F limit to positive infinity, which is an initial upper limit on the cost. Initializes a stack with a tuple containing the starting node and the initial F limit. This stack is used for managing nodes to be expanded. Initializes an empty set to keep track of visited states to avoid revisiting them. While stack, initiates a loop that continues as long as there are nodes in the stack. Popping a node, pops the top node and its F value from the stack. This node becomes the current node for exploration. Adds the state of the current node to the set of visited states to prevent revisiting. Goal check, checks if the current node state matches the goal state. Path reconstruction. If the goal is reached, the code enters this block. Path initializes an empty list to store the path from the start to the goal. Cost equals node.f, records the cost of the path, which is the f value of the goal node. A loop is used to trace back from the goal node to the start node, appending each state to the path list. Path.append, appends the current node state to the path. Node equals node.parent, moves to the parent node for the next iteration until the start node is reached. Return, returns the optimal path as a list of states and the cost of the path. Successor generation, get neighbors function defines the successors for each state from 1 to 8. It returns a list of pairs for the given state. Starting the search, this part ensures that the code is executed only if this script is run directly. Start state equals 1 and goal state equals 8 set the start and goal states. Path and cost calculation, calls the RBFS function to find the optimal path and cost. Printing the result, the code prints the optimal path from start state to goal state, including the states and the total cost. If no path is found, it prints a no path found. That's all for this particular session. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe our channel and give your valuable feedback.